Hello, grade 7 students. Welcome to our arts education class. In first quarter, module 1, our lesson is about arts and crafts of Luzon, attires, fabric, and tapestries, crafts and accessories, and body ornamentation. Arts and crafts help us recognize the distinctiveness of a certain culture. They show the kind of living, the resources available in a particular region, the beliefs and traditions, and the artistry and imaginative minds of the people in different places. As we go through on this lesson, you will be able to meet our objectives. Number one, recognize attire, fabrics, and tapestries, crafts and accessories, and body ornamentation in highlands and lowlands of Luzon. And number two, determine the characteristics of attire, fabrics, and tapestries, crafts and accessories, and body ornamentation in highlands and lowlands of Luzon. And appreciate the importance of the characteristics of attire, fabrics, and tapestries, crafts and accessories, and body ornamentation in relation to highlands and lowlands of Luzon's culture. Let's recall your childhood if you remember all of these characters. Our activity one is entitled Kamehameha. Welcome to the world of cartoons and anime. Direction. The following are the characters from different cartoons and anime character. Identify each cartoon character if it is a Japanese anime or American cartoons. Write your answers in your activity notebook or activity sheets. Based on the visual appearances, which picture is closely to reality? American cartoons or Japanese anime? Why? Which of them offers greater detail of face structure, body, dressing, etc.? Can you cite some differences in their style? Which do you think uses a wide range of color variants and shades? Explain briefly. Now that you know the differences between Japanese anime and American cartoons, you can now easily distinguish every cartoon character if it is an American cartoon or a Japanese anime by simply looking at its characteristics like style, technique, materials used or medium, and content. In connection with our topic, we also need to identify the characteristics of arts and crafts of Luzon, Highlands, and Lowlands. In order for us to recognize their aesthetic and unique qualities and appreciate the real talents of the artist and the importance of their masterpieces in the community. Relative to this, here are the illustrations of textiles in Luzon that show different designs. Can you identify the similarities and differences of the textile? Try to list down all the similarities and differences you can notice from the two pictures of textile and write your answers in your notebook or answer sheets. Let's weave your knowledge. After comparing the two different textiles, you will be able to know the different attires of specific areas, the materials, functions and use, and even the meaning of the designs and patterns. Let's start with textile, attire, fabrics, and tapestries. Inabel is a hand-woven fabric made by Ilocanos, which is more popularly known as Abel Iloco. The word Inabel of Ilocanos literally means woven. It is created by skilled artisans using traditional wooden looms. It comes with different patterns inspired by nature. One of the most recognizable pattern of Inabel is Binacol, also known as Binacel, Binacael, or Binacul. Binacol, meaning twill, can be easily recognized by its interlocked geometric patterns which represent the waves of the sea that protects people from malevolent spirits. 
Cain is the basic dress for women of Cordillera region. It is a type of wraparound skirt, tapis in Tagalog, characterized by horizontal stripes bordered by decorated panels along the joints and edges. Uses bright colors, especially fiery red, and embroidered with beads and shells. Some Cain used other colors like red, yellow, white, black, and green, which signify the color of things in nature. The hand-woven fabric of Buntok are characterized by different geometric shapes and different shapes of things from nature. Sinio C1 is the Bontok's blanket and clothing wains and lufids and sinaspala wains. Kadangyan is a burial cloth for the rich people of Mountain Province. It is a Cordilleran term which literally means rich. In earlier days, only the grandmothers were allowed to weave burial cloths, Kadangyan. But now, any able weaver is allowed to weave burial cloth for the dead. Wains and Lufids are costumes of Igrots from the mountain province. Wains is a long strips of hand-woven loincloth, bahag, for men. And Lufids is wraparound skirt, tapis, for women. This cloth mirror the personality of every Igrot and reflect their culture and traditions. Example, religious practices and rituals. Ginaspala wains is a belt worn by a married woman of Bontok and Kankanay that has in a wind design composed of continuous zigzag patterns. Bakwat is a belt used by mothers after giving birth. It is designed with white beads as accents and patterns of rivers and mountains with beadworks on the central portion of the cloth. It is made by Gadang weavers of Nueva Vizcaya. Tinguyan designs are very meaningful for the people of Abra. Their clothing has a simple linear designs but are assigned with many meanings. Some of their textiles are reserved for use only during special occasions such as birth giving, weddings, and harvesting. They use natural dyes from the different trees and plants. Mahogany for red, jackfruit or ginger for yellow, nara for brown, and malatayum for indigo. Pinya and Juicy are the traditional fabrics in Batangas. In Taal, hand embroiderers are characterized by a smooth stitches, fine, composed of fine, delicate shapes, embossed and durable. Barong is an embroidered formal menswear in the Philippines and is the most versatile apparel on special occasions like weddings and formal affairs. Next are the crafts. Bernay, locally known as tapayan or banga, is an earthenware jar crafted by a skillful potters with the use of potter's wheel and kiln. It is made by a grade A clay and fine sand. Bernay is commonly used for storage of water, grains, fermented fish, paguong, basi, sugarcane wine, salt, and other condiments. Bernay has small openings while those with bigger mouths are called wanging. Buri mat is a smoothly woven mat from Balinao that is made of dried leaves of palm, buri, raffia, and buntal, dyed and woven. Laba is a bowl-shaped coil basket of kalinga that is made from finely split rattan and nito vine. It is used for carrying and storing rice or vegetables. The linglingo or dinomog is a common ancient artifact symbolizing fertility, prosperity, and love found in the Ifugao, Bondok, and other Cordillera region of the northern Philippines. It has a negative spaced form that be considered the internal female reproductive system, the womb, and the birth canal. This fertility symbol captured the feminine essence that the nurtures life within itself and gives birth to it. Vakul headdress is the headgear for Ivatan women of Batanes that is used to protect them from the heat of the sun and rains. 
Vests are worn by Ibatan men farmers. Bakul and vest are made from the leaves of Buyavoy, a tree endemic to Batanes. Singkaban of Bulacan is the art of creating an entrance art and other decorative materials, mainly from the bamboo. Pastillas of Bulacan is different from other pastillas in the country. It has a unique, colorful, and intricately designed paper wrappers which is locally known as pabalat or borlas de pastillas. Other Bulacan arts and crafts include firecrackers and goldsmith. Keeping is a traditional Filipino leaf-shaped wafer made from glutinous rice. It originated from the city of Lokban, Quezon. It is used to decorate houses during the Pahiyas festival. It can be eaten grilled or fried. It can be dipped in sugar, vinegar, or other sauce. The Bicol region is abundant not only in natural fibers of abaca and raffia, but also in their own arts and crafts including basket, bags, slippers, coin purses, and other crafts. Their crafts design are simple but colorful. Giant lanterns of Pampanga are known for their special features. Before, giant lanterns of Pampanga uses papel de hapon for coverings, but now then innovated by using colored plastic as material for covering. In today's ages, Pampangenios use fiberglass and homemade paper of their lanterns. Lastly is the accessories and body ornamentation. Kalinga tattooing is a form of art that is usually covering the chest and arms. It is considered as a clothing and decoration of kalingas. Batok is a thousand-year tattooing tradition that uses indigenous materials like a charcoal mix with water in a coconut shell a thorn of citrus tree as a needle, a bamboo thorn holder, and a bamboo used to top it. Font Odd Ogai, also known as Maria Ogai, is a Filipino tattoo artist from Buscalan, Tinglayan, Kalinga, Philippines. He is often described as the last and the oldest Mambabatok and is part of the Butbut people of the larger Kalinga ethnic group. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts NCCA conferred on Fund Odd the prestigious Dangal ng Haraya Award at Tabuk, the capital of Fund Odd's ethnic province of Kalinga in 2018. She was nominated for the National Living Treasures Award, Gawad Manilika ng Bayan in 2017. In Mountain Province, the close examination of the Kabayan mummies revealed that they have body tattoos similar to the patterns found in their textile. You are doing great, students! I hope you've learned a lot in our lesson for this day. Thank you for being attentive and see you on our next lesson. Once again, thank you and have a nice day. Bye!